Hi, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to make oil spill in the water. So today we'll try to achieve something like this. So here you can clearly see an oil patch on the water, so on the surface on water, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's get started. So today I'm using Rhino 5 and Maxil, and okay, let's start it. So let's start by making simple scene for our render. So I'm using um, this plane, and next let's make a pool. So this is going to be a pool where we'll keep our water. So I'm just using box. And next, um, just trim off the parts we don't need. So yeah, let's cut off this part like this. Okay, that's looking good. Next, let's flip normals. So that's, that's going to be our pool. Next, let's make water. So again, I'm using just simple box. And just place it there and that's it so this is our scene as you can see very simple very fast to make and next let's make um, C so you can find C extension under Maxwell scene manager simply go to extensions right click and select new C extension that's it now select an object again right click and go to assign to select it so now it's assigned. Uh, in order to preview, you can either do a render or you can go to rendering and fire render live Maxwell Fire preview. That's very helpful because you can see in real time what's going on. So simply click this button and that's that's how it looks. So you can modify, as you can see when I move it changes, you can modify this C extend um, parameters like wave, wave heights and how deep it is by either changing dimensions of the box or you can just double click the extension and change parameters just here. So uh, as you can see it's a bit difficult to see what's going on because we don't have um, any shadows and direct light like spotlight so we can do that by enabling sun so simply click use sun and you can see now it's much better view of, of our waves and also, actually, I would encourage to use physical, physical sky. So again, just um, things like that. Okay, well, it's looking kind of okay. Um, maybe we can change angle of the sun a little bit. So simply go to um, day and day of the year and time of the day. As you can see, the shadows moves whenever I move this button. So yeah, something like that, I guess. Maybe like this. Yeah, looking actually a bit more. Yeah, looking okay. And um, yeah, so that's that. Let's make it a bit more flat and move up. So yeah, we, you you can play with this uh, with appearance of the waves as much as you want. I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay, so I'm happy with the position. Next, let's do water material. Again, I'm just using default presets from Maxwell. So go to material wizard, choose water, and simply apply it to select it again. Assign to select it. So as you can see from preview, it looks much more realistic, much more like water, which is good. And yeah, so again, you can actually move it up a bit so it goes, you know, stays closer to the edge. Right, um, next let's do the oil splashes, so oil spills. And as you know, Maxwell is physically correct render engine. And what you need to do is um, apply coating. So double click on the material, right click on BSDF and go to add coating. Now, here you need to insert ND value from benzene. You can easily find these values from websites like, um, like Pixel and Poly, which I'm using. Simply go to, they have tons of, uh, it's great material library and you know, it's accurately measured values, refraction values. So go to benzene and you can see a value 1.5. 505, simply copy it, go back to Maxwell, 
and insert it here. Oops. Okay. So you can uh, refresh, and you can already see this nice uh, so rainbow effect, which comes from oil products, and it's already been applied and on the entire surface, which is not what we're looking for. What we want to get is, um, yeah, something like that which you can clearly see part of clean water and part of the dirty water. So for that, we'll use mask. And we can get um, splashes from places like these. So this is uh, CG textures. And I just selected one of the splash here. You can download it and go to a uh, folder, insert it into Maxwell. And what I did, I just uh, get rid of, I got rid of uh, color values. So simply make it black and white, and also we want so everywhere which which is white is going to be our oil spill oil, and what is black is going to be our water. So we want to inverse it and uh, simply click save, and then go back to Maxwell to material, and here you can see thickness in double click, and you can apply a mask. So this is our mask, and just open it and. Now you can a little bit see the, the spill here. If you want to see it better, um, I suggest to go to render preview mode. So render. And now let's just... Uh, okay, let's apply material texture mapping so we can control it better, the spill. Okay. And next, I just modify box a little bit. I'm using simple box. It's quite easy. Okay. Okay. That that's looking quite good, I think. Yeah you can clearly see the water. Alright so next we just simply select the nice angle for our render, maybe close up a bit, yeah, something like that, and yeah, <clears throat> looking good, okay, so I'll just click render, yeah, that's okay, and yeah, that's it, and so next, I'll stop the video, um, it'll take some time to render, it's our render looks much better now, it's, um, yeah, you can see more details and looking more realistic. So at level 15, I think I'm going to stop it. It's, um, it's not perfect, but uh, for this exercise, I think it's good enough. Um, if you want to make it b a better illusion of re realism, I would recommend to use HDRI environments, obviously changing geometry, you know, avoiding sharp edges and adding some realistic looking materials. But... Uh, as I said, it's just an exercise, so um, thanks for watching and I hope it was useful.